Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I have a really interesting sheath to show you today. Um, this thing is for a Zippo lighter, just a classic Zippo. And uh, so Daniel had asked me if I could make this for him. Uh, he wanted me to set it up with a leather scout strap, the same way I do with some of my knives. So it's a, a leather strap that goes up and over and has pull the dot snaps on it. So you loop it on your belt, it stays really uh, low profile, actually stays laterally pretty secure as well. So anyway, um, so this is what I got. I just tried this thing on and I ended up having to tweak it a little bit uh, to make it really work nicely. But um, one of the initial thoughts that I had with it and I had expressed to him was that the sheath itself is probably going to have to be a little bit long for the scout strap to actually be worth having. And the reason is because if it's too narrow, then it just becomes a loop that's on your belt that can travel really easily. But if you make it a little bit wider, then it starts to interact with the curvature of your belt and it doesn't want to go with it. So, I mean, you can see it will travel, but look, it's pulling my belt. I mean, that, that should say something. It is, it is, um, for the most part, it doesn't want to just move around. It's not going to flop and fold and whatever. Um, so especially if you get it up next to a belt loop or something, um, then it has a little bit of resistance. So when you go to draw it out, um, you can smoothly draw your lighter from that sheath. Um, you do have two options as far as the position of it. Right now it's on the butt end of the sheath, but it can go up one. I did like how it looked up on this one and the second to last eyelet here. However, when you do that, it's a lot harder to get at these uh, these little scallops, these finger scallops, so you can't quite comfortably reach your lighter to draw it out. Um, I would say it is still kind of an awkward position and that might just be where it's at on the belt. But for me, I'm not a huge fan um, of how this how this sits. So I, I would probably like to come up with something that rides vertically, or maybe even like at an angle or something. But um, when it's at my when it's at my three o'clock and I can just pull it straight out the front, that's actually quite nice. And then I would imagine if it's a little bit further back or even in my in a traditional scout position, um, that would probably be extremely comfortable. So you do have. A lot of options as far as this thing goes and um, yeah just a traditional classy zippo one thing I want to bring to your attention in case you guys are seeing I don't think it shows up on camera very well but I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer I just like full disclosure uh, because I want you guys to really understand kydex the pros and cons and I'll be totally honest with you about what I think the uh, negatives are so if you look uh, there we go catch it in the right light you see these scratches, these vertical marks? I'm gonna flip it over. I got them on both sides. And it's on, you can see the deepest ones are on this half of the lighter, you know, the left, your right, I guess it'd be. Um, part of the reason is because I had originally, well, let me see. I did this sheath a few times so this was the first take of it and uh, obviously I didn't get much farther than setting some eyelets in it but what I noticed was that I had heated the kydex for a little bit too long which sometimes I do for knife sheaths because I have tape around the knife and it creates space so your knife is never going to touch the sides of the sheaths uh, or at least not aggressively it's not going to be pinched by the sides of the sheaths um, so sometimes when you heat kydex a little bit extra it creates these little pock marks, or if you do it on the surface of a griddle. I use a griddle uh, because it's really fast. Um, it heats it extremely well, evenly, yada yada. I can get big pieces on there. Um, so anyway, sometimes you'll pull it off the surface of the griddle and it's got just a tiny bit of sticks, just a little bit. And if you look at the back side of it, there's all these blemishes on it. So those blemishes, when they harden, I, didn't, I hadn't thought about it, but when it's pinched up against the... Uh, the item in question in this case the lighter because you know this has to be pinched you can't have space since there's nothing for retention to grab onto the way a knife handle would work with a sheath uh, so since those pock marks were pinched against it when they cooled off it actually created these little scratch marks so um, that's why I scrapped this one and redid it because I realized what I had done so I went back and I did it sorry I did it so that the inside would be nice and smooth. So hopefully you can 
see how that is smooth in there. And man, I am dropping things like crazy. All right, so um, not too much to show on this sheath. You do have the ability to wear it ambidextrously. If you really want to change which side the snaps are on, you can just take a Phillips head screwdriver and remove those and flip it over to the other side. Um, the reason for this pattern here is nothing special. Um, it's, it's twofold. Number one, uh, because I did have to elongate the sheath to accommodate for a scout strap, I wanted the, uh, I wanted the edges to stay nice and sealed when I went to sand it, so I, I rivet it around here. Um, these two are to prevent, if I knew if I had to do any kind of reheating, I don't want all of this to get lifted up and deformed, so you rivet it here. And then now you have some other options as far as maybe you decide at some point you want to put a, a tech lock on it or something. You can find a ton of different spacings with these, um, with these eyelets on there. And then you also have the option, you know, you could, I don't know if it would be worth doing, but you've got an option to do it as a necker, so you could just run some paracord and string this down. So, um, you didn't ask for options, but you got some options, Daniel. So, uh, hopefully you're all right with those, and I think this thing came out really nice. One thing really quick, how you use pull-the-dot snaps. They are one-way fasteners, which means that you are going to... Let me uh, adjust this light here. All right. They're one-way snaps, which means that they can only actually snap down one way and they can only snap off one way. That's the reason why they call them pull-the-dot snaps. Uh, typically, there's a dot in the top of it, and it tells, and usually it's down by the edge, and that tells you where you want to lift, which side you want to lift up of that circle uh, to disengage it from the receiver. Uh, when you put snaps on leather, or at least this thick, uh, you can't get the dot how it works is you use an eyelet setter and you put you compress it and this piece has a little prong on it that's supposed to poke through the material and then push out and leave a dot of some kind on there or the crimper whatever you're using to compress it is supposed to put a dot in the surface of that so it's one or the other uh, I wouldn't know because I have I have a setter for it but I don't have the factory like the recommended one so you know, what I do works, but you don't actually have the dot on my pull the dot snap. So um, anyway, so how you want to snap them down, you want to put the edge of the sheath, or sorry, the edge of the uh, leather upward as you try to snap it down. Goes on like so. And then the idea with it is that it can't get undone. So if you put too much pressure on the inside here and you're trying to lift up the inside and fold it outward, that's not going to happen. It's not going to undo. So you get a nice secure snap there. Um, so remember, edge up to go on, and then edge up first to come off. Simple as that. So um, he asked for Cryptek Nomad, and he wanted a dark brown leather. He'd sent me a picture of something. I tried to match that color as best I could. And then I also um, since the eyelets are black, well, actually, I'm not going to claim that it's some artistic thing. <laughs> the eyelets are black, so it does go really nicely, but I like to, when I have, uh, some sort of deep, rich brown, I like to put black edge coat on the edge of my leather. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure if this is showing up. This yellow light is not very, not very good, but maybe my flashlight would give you a little better. Probably not, but, well... I'll get a picture of it out in the sunlight and use that as the thumbnail so you can really look at it closely. I'll probably post this on Instagram too. But you have a deep, rich brown on the face of this, and then the edges are all beveled with a little bit of black edge coat, which I think just gives it a classy little touch. So, All right, guys. I have already done about nine and a half minutes on a lighter, so I'm going to let you just go. I apologize for taking so much of your day, but I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this way of carrying a lighter. Um, let me know what you think of Zippos versus, you know, traditional Bic and all that. I'm a big fan of these. I don't, this is the only one I have, and obviously it's, it is just a molding prop. I've kind of abused it. I've scratched it up. Uh, 
the top if it's messed up. But I really do like Zippos. And uh, if I were a smoker, I'd probably carry this. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and tune in for the next one. God bless.